what is best in life. Today we join Sultan Alandin II, the cruel of the Jaws Shadow, in his attempt to uh, usher along the restoration of the Zoroastrian, now the Manichaean heresy of Zoroastrianism, as the state religion of Persia, so he can declare himself the Soyushant and become one of the uh, three saviors of the uh, Manichaean Zoroastrian religion. Uh, Zoroastrian, uh, in the last episode, we discovered that um, most of the Jaws family are now Manichaean heretics. Uh, that seemed to happen when the Manichaean heresy overcame classical Zoroastrianism. But uh, the option to become Seoshant is still available in this faith, so that may be what we do. Uh, Manichaeism actually spread all the way from China to Rome around the uh, third century second to third century a.d and the most famous manichaean in the west was saint augustine of hippo who later became uh one of the first prominent catholic i guess you could call them a, a catholic theologian they wrote city of god but anyway that is the manicheans now i am trying to see what my immediate priorities are with the sultan his characteristics are so negative. He's possessed, he's a werewolf, uh, he's uh, resting, he's cynical. He's so hated by so many, including his liege, who he won a white piece in the previous episode. His liege actually attacked him, but we scored a quick early victory and demanded and got a white piece. So I'm safe to briefly from him. However, I have no uh, really useful ambitions left. I don't want to become a counselor. That would just get me assassinated. And I am trying to three. My one demon daughter has slain three of my other daughters. Uh, so I do not have a lot of heirs left. I don't have the ability to get legalism three in this lifetime. So I can't change my laws to primogeniture. Not that I could anyway, because none of my vassals could have a negative opinion of me um, so I'm not sure what my priorities will be in this episode uh, I'm going to the Karakum the Sheikdom I just conquered last episode has a mosque uh, held by a Sunni Muslim I'll revoke his title in the mosque and then the city title is also held by a Sunni Muslim, I'll revoke his title as well. And I have too many duchies. One of them was, one duchy title was given to me by the, uh, by the Caliph that I never really wanted, and that's the Duchy of Tabriz, the Sheikdom of Tabriz. So there's the Emirate of Tabriz, and I'll destroy the Emirate of Tabriz title, although that'll give me a negative uh, opinion modifier. It, uh, is just necessary to uh, maintain my direct control over one of the uh, trade posts on the Silk Road. And the trade post of Gurgan and Kazwin, I don't understand why it's not listed the trade post of Tabriz. So I've destroyed the Emirate of Tabriz. Now, Tabriz, does it still have a trading post? No, it doesn't. Ah, it was destroyed in a raid or during the wars, so I'll have to reestablish that trading post. Now, my council, my council hates me, but are they usefully employed? Uh, can I research cultural tech? Uh, that's just inside my kingdom. I can't really research. Let me check the uh, religion. Uh, what religions do I have? I have uh, Orthodox Christianity, Mazdekian, heresy uh kurmatsa heresy in mazdan and then i have in kurdistan sunni muslim um oh let me so let me check so i have sunni muslim i have orthodox christian i have zoroastrian 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 and then i have uh, mazdekian so I can try to convert the uh, Sheikdom of Alamut, I suppose. 
I will have him proselytize. Oh, I accidentally assigned him a job. My spy master is in the court of Uganda scheme. That's good. My administer realm uh, is. What's he doing? He's collecting taxes in Gurgan. Uh, my uh, Aran Spablood, or my marshal, is in Gurgan to trade troops. And my chancellor is. What is my chancellor doing? He's performing statecraft. He really should be trying to form me another claim on a council or another claim on a territory. And that my next attempt will be the Silk, uh, Silk Road Trading Post of Estefan. So I'll get him to fabricate claims in, Est in Esfahan. And at the moment, I'll get this going. I don't really have, I'll slow down the time. I still have too many titles, even though I destroyed my uh, extra Emirate title, Emirate of Glan, Emirate of Tabaristan. So what titles do I have? I, he accepts my decision to revoke the city of Garznik. And let's get these guys back home, the army. So now I have a city title that I have to fill, and the mosque. So I have a Baram title that I have to fill. So I will see if there is my dynasty any males. Oh, one of my uh, Satan's own, Lucifer's own people wants to uh, go hold a ritual. So do I have any adults? Uh, let's see, wearing nondescript common clothes, Semina and I slowly are making our way to town in amiable silence. As we pass by a neatly kept garden in front of a cozy looking house, I'm suddenly overcome with hatred and revulsion. The family is clearly favored by mana. Uh, it's time to do airy man's work. Now the Sheik of Tabaristan. Young Jandahar has just become an adult. His opinion of me is negative 100. And, oh, he's in jail. That's not good. The father of the family died last. Ah, but the marbles he got to see first. Semina carved the wife's face off and pranced around wearing it like a mask, taunting and kissing the man while I boiled baby fat to make a flying, a flying potion. Finally, we constructed an idol of Zarzarzi from the dismembered bodies. Burn it all, no one must know. Gain a hundred dark power. Leaving it would please every man more. National tax modifier, plus 20%. We become close friends, but the locals will be upset. Uh, I have enough money to put down. So, can I make him... Uh, can I grant him a city? Yes, it looks like I can. Predictably, the local populace didn't appreciate the glorious monument of flesh that we left for them to find. Rumors are running rife, and it won't take time, much time for the whole of Gurgan to erupt into open rebellion. Elk. Now, I don't want to... Now, I need someone not of my dynasty, uh, but of my culture and my religion, my religion, and a man... Not a ruler, and I need to give him the Baram. And he has terrible stats, but he's not otherwise so great. Uh, I'll invite him to court. I wish I had someone of higher learning. I'll invite this other gentleman to court. And I could go into hiding, but this character is so hated. Oh, I need a court a physician as well. Yikes. Uh, invite to plot. There we go. Now I'll make him grant that the title. Ram. There we go. Now he's a bad, but I still have seven titles. I believe I've filled the city, so now the Sheikdom of Karakum, I can 
hand out to someone of my dynasty. Great house, my dynasty, man. Um, not a ruler. Heir to the sheepdom of Galan. He doesn't appear to be an heir. So I will grant land and title. The sheepdom of Karakum. Two lower titles. And that still remains me with six. And which is the least productive uh, lambs are? Lamzar County Capital, and that is, oh, that's Kazwin, that's got a trading post in it, so Lamzar I'm keeping. Uh, Duhok is in Kurdistan, so actually from Kurdistan, a son was born. Uh, another Elandon. My son, actually, I'll give it to my son. And a daughter, another set of twins. So my daughter, or my son, will receive a martial education and grant guardian. And I will grant him a landed title. Uh, why is Kurt, there's Kurdistan. And there we go. So he's landed, married, and a message about a point counselor. No, thank you. I don't want to create a title. Uh, I guess I don't want to go into hiding, although that might be an option. Now, where do I still have? I still have a claim here. And can I declare war? I have raised armies. Shah Razur. Where is Shah Razur? Oh, Shah Razur. Why have I not pursued this war? Sheikdom of Shah Razur. Declare war. Must be our liege or a vassal of our liege. So I can claim Shah Razur and he can raise. Uh, 1,600 soldiers. How many can I raise? I can raise 4,000. Oh, great. Well, I'll claim Shah Reserve. Declare war. Claim Shah Reserve. There we go. And just pause for a moment. And raise my levy. Let the war begin. But invite to plot has been uh, no thank you. So we'll speed up this, and I guess we will make taking Shah Razur and establishing a claim on Esfahan our prior priorities for this game. And one thing I would oh, do I have enough room for? I have three concubines, and I think I've bribed them all to try to. Uh, there we go. I'll try to improve her opinion of me. This is my cousin. This won't increase my opinion any further. This won't improve my opinion of her any further. Get the captain and get Elg out of there. I don't want my... Uh, a uh, member of my household leading an army. Let's speed up the game just a little bit more. Get over here. And I will defeat his army, then invade uh, 
Shell Reserve and add that to my patrimony. And there's some. Uh, there's been another rebellion, some break offs. So this Emir is independent and he looks like he is ripe for the picking. Do I have. I don't have any war aims against him though. Um, it would be nice to get him. Positive, even though I have uh, levies raised and now let's look at duchies so this would give me control of Kurdistan and Jabal is the next one that I should head for including Esfahan although it would be nice to get another holy site of why did uh... Why did the sheik just raise all those, uh, raise all those levies? I can't stop thinking of all the prisoners of the of prisoners in my dungeon. All right, I'll torture one. Actually, oh yeah, all right. I have three concubines. I'm not really seducing anyone, and I have a weak claim that could be. What is my weak claim? Declare war on character. Emer of Kerman, he could only raise a thousand soldiers. And what is, what am I, they're trying to kill my daughter Gemela, oh she's a demon sitting in the spawn. Where was that weak claim when the title being created? Make an ambition vassal, invite to plot. Oh, that's nice. My vassal is beating up on my uh, uh, Shahrazer enemy as well. So what's this weak claim that I can press? Strong claim. someone in my realm inheriting this title. Princess Mariam. Oh, they have, that would be a whole genocide I'd have to commit. The Emir of Baghdad. If I assassinated him, Tainted Touch, 500 Dark Power, does that mean someone in my kingdom would inherit his title? Magic is born fruit. News has reached me of the sneaky root Emir Manzur's recent illness. He is suffering from the plague, and I doubt that he will last long. Now, who is his heir? His heir is Fidel Ibn Hussein. And where is he? Imprisoned by Emir Mansur in Baghdad. Now, who is his heir? It doesn't show who his heir is. 
May demons dance on Mansur's grave. Defeat. So somebody's defeated me in Kurdistan. Now I will go beat up his army one more time. I can feel inside me the mesmerizing voice, the sweet touch of my dark savior, Araman's gift, the beautiful magic. It's flowing freely through my veins. The sensation is dizzy, radiant, breathtaking. Nothing in the world can stop me now. And I have gained the trait of lunatic. And I'm still supposed to be finding a woman to, holy, to unholily impregnate. Can I impregnate my daughter? She's married, Countess. She's too distant for me to interact with. My cousin was pregnant, but I was away. Wasn't I? That besets me. Actually, yeah, can I... I'll attempt demonic possession of my cousin, and then recruit her for Satan's own. I've thought it over, and I cannot be the father of my cousin, Farrah's body. A baby, as it grows in her belly, I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. No, I trust her word. I don't really, but I don't really see the downside of having an extra child in your uh, house. It's the middle of the night. I seclude myself in the room I have meticulously prepared for tonight's black magic. With every step of the ritual completed, the air of the room grows more and more oppressing, until finally I sense I am about to unleash a being of terrible power upon my unsuspecting foe. I will do it. resounding success. Farah seems to have taken quite a liking to me and is now far more amendable to my suggestions. The unfortunate, unfortunate side effect is that she has become quite obviously insane. That's unfortunate, but uh, judging by who or Yes, I'll torture another prisoner. That seems to be my thing. And now that she is demonically possessed, now can I recruit her for Satan? Oh, I can't recruit her for Satan. Uh, my brother in darkness, Ephraim of Amicaliah, has passed by and decided to pay me a surprise visit. He's in a lewd mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy. Sure, why not? That's one more dream or less. Having indulged in at least four different kinds of exotic drugs, the last three days are a, a fiery haze in my mind. There was a beautiful woman with a forked tongue, a one-eyed dwarf, and many other wonderful freaks, some of whom might even have been real. Mm, and the tricks Ephraim and I taught each other. I feel great. I get sex appeal plus 10, fertility plus 25, a satiric blessing, 100 dark power, and Golpry uh, dies. We killed the courtier. There we go. The trade route from Gad is in dire need of new pack animals and equipment to be able to continue bringing in goods to our realm. Ooh, 200 gold. That's pretty cheap, but if that's what it takes. And one weak claim. A message to invite to plot. Walia of Bandar Kamir. Oh no, a land and elg claims that something tried to kill him last night. He woke up with a small shape pressing down on his chest. It ran off hissing but left a lo nasty long needle behind. I think it was just a nightmare. The maids leave needles lying about everywhere. However, there are rumors about the so-called demon child, my daughter Jamalaya again. Oh, I was hoping my uh, 
son would survive, actually. There we go. And I'll lay low because uh, the Lucifer Zone keeps getting assassinated. I wondered if I should invite one of my friends. Sure, I'll invite a friend to a banquet. Now I still have the city. So actually, should I give this city to my son? Um, that's a pretty minor title for a son. But it's still someone of my dynasty. And he's not really line to inherit much else. Actually, no, I'll give the city to someone else and I'll give the shakedom that I just inherited to him. I rushed around trying to get everyone to work harder, not smarter, to get everything ready for the banquet. When all the guests started to arrive, I waited impatiently for Semina, but sh still did my best to make sure every guest felt welcome and found its designated place at my table. There we go. Okay, so I will find a character. Search the realm for men, my religion, my culture, any dynasty. Um, Ruler, no. And I'll torture someone else. I sure torture people a lot. The world is a dangerous place. People are trying to kill me. Uh, this is a Mobad. Let's see someone with high. Gosh, I don't have anyone with high. Um, Grant lighted title in the city of Sanda. There we go. I granted them a title. Um, now I will grant my son the Sheikh to move Shandahar. Lower titles. There we go. And this weak claim, two weak claims. Abbasid Empire, Sheikh Elg of Galan. Caliph, the Caliph can raise 20,000 people. Claim Arabian Empire, over 20,000 troops, though. How many can I raise? I can raise 5,000 now. That's including the 2,500 I already hired. Five thousand versus twenty thousand. What's the other? What's the other claim? Claim Bandar, and this is my courtier my Urbad. Well, it's unfortunately I didn't give one of them a shake to him instead of my son. Uh, disaster. I will remember to lay low. Abyssin Empire. Uh, he only can raise 961. What is this? Bandar Camera. Not of my dynasty, so um, invite to plot, open council positions, court and man. My Mobad, uh, he has good learning. Appoint counselor, no thank you. Uh, Jahira bint Bahar, my sister in darkness, wants me to join her for a lark over in Sajanabar. 
There's a certain herb ad and would-be witch hunter who has been in a thorn in her side for some time. It's time to teach the arrogant fool a lesson in manners. Alright, so I get him to proselytize. And proselytize. We found the zealous Urbad praying in seclusion. Jahira snuck up from behind and gave the fool a hard kick in the head. As I gave a devotion to the Nagrette, Jahira proceeded to relieve herself on the comatose preacher. Then the butchery commenced. Tour the countryside, masquerading as a Urbad. Host a decadent feast in the idiot's name. <sighs> Jahira and I staged a lavish feast in the abode of the dead and man, taking care only to invite dignitaries who weren't well acquainted. The guests were shocked at the dancers, the half-naked musicians, and the heady smoke from the exotic incense. But when we brought in the prostitutes, half the guests stood up and left. The other half were delighted. What will people think of your servants now, Uhura Mazda? I gain another hundred dark power. And I will lay low as one of Satan's own. And I will torture one more of my people. And can I? Impregnate some of my prisoners. Declaim poetry, humiliate, murder, torture, sacrifice to Ari Man. Alright, I'll sacrifice her. It only gains me 10 dark power. Hand damp with dazed as she is dragged to the altar, where you can see dawning comprehension on her face as she is tied down. To ignore her begging as chants of praise to Ariman build to a crescendo. Finally, it is time you swing your blade in an overhead arc, which ends in Hamden's heart. Hail, Ariman. But didn't I have a mission to impregnate someone? The time has come for the embodied spawn of Ariman to enter this world and bring about a new era of glorious majesty. The child will lead you behind to a great future where we, the true followers, shall rule an empire in honor of choosing the unholy mother who has come to you. Right click on a female follower of Ariman, a child bearing age in your court, and select on the holy information. Oh, let's see, the corruption crept on me so slowly I'd become a hunchback. And I don't want to become a high priest in the place of his own because they're just trying to not kill me. I wish I had the strength to make a play for the uh, entire empire of, uh, of the Abbasads, but I just don't right now. And if I had appointed one of these men Actually, he's 13, but he's attractive. Actually, um... Oh, someone managed to kill my son. Eternal nightmares, my daughter, my beloved son, El Galandon, is dead. 
He is found lifeless in his bed, face frozen in a terrible grimace, and uh, that's my demonic daughter again. However, it has given me a title that I can bestow. So if I bestow the title on... So that is the sheep <laughs> Zor of Astrian faith triumphant, the adherents of the Manichaean faith have steadily dwindled to the point where Zoroastrian believers are the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced the Manichaean faith to a de facto heresy. All former Manichaean holy orders are now Zoroastrian. Oh, oh well. So I will grant him a, a, a... Now I will press his claim. Oh, and I've raised army levies, so I will uh, slow things down. an entire satrapy? Have I just given away? No, he's just a shake. No, wait a minute. Emar Hussein. He's an Emar. Oh, well, hopefully I'll just be able to claim uh, Bamar and I won't end up losing my uh, shake to out of this deal. plot another invite to plot uh we'll leave it there uh i have to uh, end this episode so we're beginning um to try to uh, press a claim from someone in my court that's something i am not great at and don't always fully understand the mechanics of unfortunately i couldn't begin a, a uh, pressing my claim for the entire caliphate despite the fact that i inherited a weak claim on it and could have uh, attempted to defeat the Caliph, as he has four times as many troops as I do. Uh, but if you enjoyed this episode, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button and the little bell so you receive notification of my other episodes. And please consider following me on Facebook. Thank you. Have a good day.